for me, hunting out of a tripod has always been uh, a pleasure and an exciting thing because you're in that open air. It kind of brings back the early days of hunting in a tree stand, but where I hunt most of the time now, we don't have a tree big enough to hang a tree stand. So the tripod allows us to be able to maneuver ourselves into situations and places where we can get elevated to get that advantage over the white-tailed deer in these cases here and have an opportunity to be able to study the deer and then take a good shot. The tripods offer the freedom and flexibility to hunt your property in places you normally couldn't and follow the deer traffic, giving hunters a better chance at harvesting the deer they want. You know, a tripod comes in a lot of different sizes. You know, you can find them 10 foot and I've seen them as high as 25 foot. And you can maneuver these uh, into various places where you're gonna find success. You know, there's times where I'll push it up under an oak tree. There's times when I'll bury it into mesquites. There'll be times when I put it on field edges because I want elevation to be able to see what's coming and going. Regardless of the situation that you're using again, a tripod is one of the biggest assets that a hunter can find. Scott Whitted from Do All Outdoors joined us on the Nooner Ranch, hoping to go after a good management bug. That's one of my first times actually hunting from a tripod. I've always been either a, a lock-on or a ladder stand person. I, I like the way you can tuck it into the trees a little bit and you get, you got the height. Um, so it was great from a, a visual standpoint. You're up in the air just like you would be in a ladder stand. Um, but the nice part about it is it pivots. You know, the, the, the tripod stand we ran, it would pivot to my left and my right so I could, you know, go back and forth and, and pivot to my right a little bit or, or back to the left and get better angles and see animals differently. 